Hey church, my name is Jade and I'm a member here at Heights Church. It is so good to see you again. It's so great to see you in person, a lot of you. And for those of you who are watching church online these days, um, I hope you're doing well and I'm glad you're with us. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing another devotional, a part of this thread called The Miracle of Jesus. And today, I'm gonna to be talking about on John uh, chapter four, verses 43 through 54 in NIV. I'm gonna be talking about how Jesus heals a nobleman's son. And before I get going, uh, let me just state that this passage uh, was so encouraging to me to remember that um, God does the immeasurably more, right? God does immeasurably more through what goes unseen most of the time. Things that aren't right in front of me, that um, aren't perfectly in order, like here's the progression of how things are going to be restored. Here's the progression of how the healing's going to happen. Um, God is much greater. He's far greater than anything we could fathom. And I think that that is truly seen in this story, and I hope that is, um, is seen through, through my words as well. So, as context for this passage, first thing to know is that Jesus was in Jerusalem and he came over to um, Cana and then there is a father um, in walking distance but it's still quite a bit of travel. He was over in Capernaum and the father has a very sick son. Um, he is he's ill and he needs healing so his father travels over to where he he hears that Jesus is going to be or that he is and so he travels over to Cana and he's in front of Jesus and he's begging Jesus to come heal his son to physically come with them and to um, to heal his son in Capernaum and Jesus's response is in verse 48 and he says unless you people see signs and wonders you will never believe and i think the thing to notice here first is that jesus is saying you people meaning um the the nobleman's class like this wealthy uh, class of people weren't really um um they were uh, criticizing the gospel they're criticizing jesus um they uh, were kind of having hardened hearts towards Jesus. Um, and so Jesus is just pointing it out like, you guys are only gonna believe unless you see my hands at work, if you only see it right in front of you. And um, the father responds by saying, sir, come down before my child dies. So obviously this, um, this dad is very helpless. He's very desperate for help. Um, he's in great need and he's very burdened. So Jesus responds by saying, go, your son will live. And the father leaves, he goes back to Capernaum, he sees that his son is healed, and he finds out that it, it did happen. His son was healed at the time that Jesus um, said that he would be. And I think um, what we need to remember is that Jesus did this without laying one hand on him. He didn't have to come down from wherever he was. He didn't have to move. Honestly, God moves, um, like I said, through what goes unseen. Jesus felt this father's pain. He felt um, the burden and um, the pain that, that the son was going through. I mean, he's human. He is emotional. He, he is God. He can feel all things. He knows all things. Um, he, he understood what they were going through. Um, but what meant more to Jesus, what means more to the Lord, is that we would understand that um, God does what is unseen. He doesn't work the way we do. He doesn't perform the way we do. He doesn't work out miracles the way we do. God can do the immeasurably more um, just through his power alone. And so um, I just encourage you uh, going forward to remember that God works miracles in the Bible. We have plenty of evidence through, through the Bible, but uh, God does miracles in our lives today. And many times he works miracles um, through what we cannot see. A lot of times we, we might graze over them even. We might think, wow, that was really awesome how that worked out. I don't know how that worked out. <laughs> uh, wow, I don't have an explanation for that, but I'm so thankful everything's okay. I just encourage you, and I, I, I think this for myself, just to stop and reflect in remembering that God has worked many miracles in our lives, to 
to remember that God is good. God is with us. God feels our pain. But yet his power uh, goes so much farther than the pain. God's power goes so much farther than our limitations, right? If we can just stop for a moment and reflect on those miracles that God has worked, where we really didn't even have to do anything. All we had to do was just believe, just put our faith in Jesus, just pray to, to Jesus, um, give him the glory, give him the, the recognition, and uh, he handles things, right? I'm so thankful for the miracle of Jesus. I'm thankful for these stories that um, are true and are living today that show me things about my life, about who God is in my life, and um, I hope the same for you. I hope you have a great week.